there, everyone. Today, the bookworms are going to be reading The Busy Beaver by Nicholas Oldland. There was once a beaver who was so busy that he didn't always think things through. This beaver's carelessness was becoming a problem. His dams leaked, and he always made a mess of the forest. He left trees half-chewed, and worse, he felled more than he needed. Perhaps worst of all, the beaver went about his work with so little thought that a tree landed right on top of a bear. And once, he even chewed a moose's leg thinking it was a tree. The beaver was just that careless. It was only a matter of time before something went terribly wrong. Crack! Sure enough, one day, the beaver was so busy chewing on a tree that he failed to notice it was falling in his direction. The beaver woke up in the hospital with a bent tail, two broken limbs, three cracked ribs, four big bruises, five sprained fingers, six twisted toes, seven little cuts, eight stinging scratches, nine sore muscles, and ten nasty slivers. He had spent his entire life chewing, swimming, and building. He had never sat still for a second. Now he could barely even scratch his nose. At first... All the bear could do was stare at the ceiling, but little by little, he began to heal. With lots of rest, he regained his strength, and before too long, he was trying out a pair of crutches. Eventually, the beaver was able to hobble over to the window. That was the first time he noticed his leaky dam, the mess of trees he had left half-chewed, his friends' bandages, and a family of homeless birds he realized he had a lot of work to do. The next day, the beaver embarked on a rigorous rehabilitation program. He got back on his feet, did lots of yoga, and lifted weights. While he was at it, the beaver caught up on some important reading and practiced saying, I'm sorry. Soon enough, he was ready to go home. The beaver's friends were a little worried about his return to the forest, but despite their concerns, the beaver went straight to work. Before the beaver started his project, he did a full tree inspection, checked to see if there were any animals in harm's way, and carried a frightened caterpillar to safety. Then the beaver went ahead and built the family of homeless birds a new nest. Next, the beaver apologized to his friends for being careless and causing so much damage. To show that he meant it, he made the bear a vase for his den, and he built a canoe for the moose. The beaver's final task was to clean up the mess he had made in the forest. He hauled off the trees he had left half-chewed, used the broken branches to affix his leaky dam, and planted saplings to replace the trees he had felled. With the forest back in order, everyone was happier, including the beaver. His work was done. The beaver got to thinking about what he might do next. He came up with lots of ideas as he got ready for bed that night. Maybe he would take a course on dam building, or start a band and go on tour, or take more naps. The beaver liked this idea the best. Being busy and doing good work was exhausting. With a yawn, the beaver laid his head down on a soft bed of leaves and fell right to sleep. All that was left for the beaver to do was dream. The end. That's it for today, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more read-alongs. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!